Hello, in this video we are going to continue looking at adding and managing user accounts. In the last video we set up this new user inside 365 uh, with the intention of adding this user to SharePoint. Obviously um, you may be adding a user in order for somebody else to have access or just from a testing perspective because it becomes very difficult to test certain aspects of SharePoint without uh, a test user to be able to test things like permissions and views um, and to make sure that you've configured things correctly before you release your development out to the production environment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at we set this user up and this user is bound to this dot on microsoft.com account and we set a password up and that password was sent to this user but when we initialize this account this is the email address of this user which which we don't have access to and if i, if I just show you we'll, we'll click on this user and in here if we edit the email address we we cannot change the domain no matter no matter what we do we cannot edit this user email address so obviously this this user is the full administrator and owner of the full deployment so if we can't change this user's email address what what what, what are we going to do so one of the things uh, when you've signed up with an office uh, B3 account is you get Outlook. So if I click here and I click on Outlook, what will happen is because this is the very first time, it will take me through the setup procedure here, and this will uh, this will take um, a few moments to go through and set this up. And it's also worth noting. That was rather quick this time. It's also worth noting as well that uh, a lot of this only works well at certain times in um, Edge and Internet Explorer 11. I would recommend Edge if possible. Sometimes in things like Google, Chrome or in, uh, in Firefox these things don't work so well and, and it is glitchy because of the continuous uh, maneuvering and updating of technologies on browsers but the the place to test these things generally speaking is in uh, Microsoft technologies such as Edge or, or um, Internet Explorer 11 so here now we're, we're in our inbox so from here we can now begin to um, get those emails um, coming through and here it, we, we set up the new user and we, we get the password for the new user. This obviously can be connected up to your Outlook desktop account um, if you do have one. It works fine in, um, in the browser and this is obviously just Outlook in the browser at this moment in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause here and we'll pick it up in the next video and look at how we can move this forward. Thank you very much for watching.